I will ask and repeat this so many times because this is really a fundamental question. Yes. To start tuning into the difference in the quality of the voice, in the resonance of the voice, because the archetypes don't speak in a mundane way. Hmm. Right? Because they are from the collective unconscious. They are from the invisible world. You know, they are from a spiritual place, an energetic place that is mm -hmm. larger than our single life. Mm -hmm. That's why we find archetypes repeated in all cultures. And some of them are really blatantly visible almost in every piece of mythology or epic literature that we find in the world because they speak from the collective and mm. they embody themselves in, in us in large or small ways, in uh, common tasks or in uh, you know, heroic tasks, but that's how they manifest in the world is through us. So mm. we feel the sensation, you know, when the voice is large, when the voice is archetypical, the sensation is, if you really listen to it, it's large, it's big, and it's coming into you and then comes out through you. Mm. Mm -hmm. But when we are talking, and sometimes it's very obvious, you know, that it is a personal characteristic or a personal issue, but there are other times when we are not sure, and so we need to listen and see how the voice, instead of coming this way, is actually coming from the side of us and then through. Mm -hmm. you know, it's almost, it comes from our historical life, from our personality. Mm -hmm. And many times, because they work together so closely, because the archetypes infuse our actions with passion, with motivation, with inspiration. For example, you know, a teacher could be very well <clears throat> inspired, uh, fueled, let's say, by the archetype of learning or by the archetype of curiosity or by an archetype of a mythological uh, teacher. So um, that... They, they work so closely that sometimes it is hard to find the difference in a card. That's why this is so important to continue to listen and listen and, and ask more questions to the matter in order to elicit more information. And then, this is important for all of us, then we have to make a decision. Either we identify that both voices are very strong in the card and we choose to make two different cards, mm. one representing the archetypal and one representing the personal, or we attribute the card to the suit that is dominant. Okay. You know, if you can say, oh, you know, I do hear the archetypal, you know, echo in this card, but it's really about my experience. It's really about me. So I will put this card in my committee suit in the suit of my psychological dimension, or vice versa. Yes, it is true that this message is working through me and it's happening in my life, but this card is really bringing in the fire of it, you know, the, the largeness of it. And so I will attribute the card to the council suit, to the archetypal suit. 